If you want to get the fastest possible external SSD speeds on a Mac, you need to either be using USB 4 or a Thunderbolt drive. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Acasis TBU 405 M1 external NVMe SSD enclosure. This is really nice because you can actually very easily remove the cover on it and you can insert whatever NVMe SSD you want into it. So whether you have a one, two, four, or eight terabyte drive, it's gonna work great in this enclosure and give you very fast speeds on a Mac or a Windows computer. And it also is backwards compatible with the iPhone 15 and 16 and any other Apple device that uses USB as well. Now, Cases did send me this enclosure for free for purposes of making this video, but in this video, we're just gonna talk about my thoughts on this drive and who I think it's for. So these kinds of drives are very easy to set up. All you gotta do is get yourself an NVMe SSD, take the rubber stopper that's included and put it on the side of it. Then you just insert the drive in at an angle, press it down, and then the rubber stopper goes into the circuit board. What's really great about this enclosure is it has a coolest design so you can very easily insert the cover on it and it just snaps into place and it's not gonna fall off or have any issues like that. This is a nice metal enclosure. It feels really good. It has a really sleek design to it as well. The metal does a great job at acting as a heat sink for all the heat. Now, whenever you do start using this for a long time, especially if you're using it in the Thunderbolt mode with the Thunderbolt cable that's included, this will heat up. A case this does include two thermal pads in the box as well, and you can put those on either side of the SSD before you insert it into the enclosure, and that's gonna do a better job at dissipating the heat. So in the box, you do get the enclosure, you get a Thunderbolt 4 cable, and you get two of the rubber stoppers, and you also get two of the thermal pads as well. So you get everything in the box that you need to set this up except an SSD. These enclosures typically run for about $90, which is a decent deal for a Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. So if you wanna get a two or four terabyte drive, depending on how nice of one you get, you'll all together be in it about $300 to $400 to get one of the fastest possible SSDs on a Mac. Whenever I did a speed test for this on my MacBook Pro, I was getting about 2,800 megabytes a second on the right side and somewhere between 2700 and 2800 ish on the read side. So this is a very fast drive that also didn't give me any issues with bogging down when I was editing video for a while. I've done several edits and projects on this and it's worked great. I've been using the Samsung 990 Pro SSD on it and had no issues at all. Now I did go ahead and try and test this out with a USB 3 cable plugged into my Mac. And when I used that cable, I was getting speeds of about 880 megabytes a second on the right and 757 on the read, which is perfectly acceptable for that cable type. I also did find this work just fine using it on my iPhone, even with the included Thunderbolt 4 cable. But overall, this is going to be a great enclosure for anyone who's looking to have really fast speeds with a variety of NVMEs. The biggest problem with buying an enclosure like this is it's not going to be quite as portable and durable as some of the all-in-one pre-built ones. Those ones just tend to have better IP ratings and better drop ratings than these do. And you also are going to have no real guarantee of long-term performance of this drive because the speeds are going to depend on what drive you use inside of it. I found I was able to move 270 gigabytes from this drive back onto my computer SSD in about three minutes or so. And the SSD fits really well in it. The cover on the back fits great as well. And this just has a really sleek appearance to it as well. So overall, I have no problem recommending the Acasis TBU 405 M1 external SSD enclosure. I think this is a great option for anyone who wants to be able to build and customize their own drive. And you can use this either as an external enclosure, or this is also gonna be a great option if you wanna take a laptop SSD and clone it to this or use this as a boot drive with a Mac mini or another computer. There's just a ton of use for having an enclosure like this around because you can put any drive in it that you want. If you're interested in buying one of these, I do have links to buy in the description below. If you have any other questions about this drive or wanna check out my favorite SSDs, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.